The next tool is called the Google Keyword Planner. The Google Keyword Tool, as of now, is no longer available. It is now called the Google Keyword Planner. And it will require you to log in to your Gmail account. So if you don't have a Gmail account or Google account, you'll need to create one. But if you have a Gmail account, it will work pretty much for Google services. Now, as you can see here, the Google Keyword Planner gives you a ton of data. And you can do a search for new keywords and ad group ideas. So it'll basically give you some ideas of keyword phrases, how much competition each keyword phrase is getting, and also the ad group keywords that a lot of people tend to use. So if we click on search for new keyword and ad group ideas, you can enter your product or service or the keyword. So let's say we're, we're going to stick with low cholesterol diet plan. And you can enter your landing page, you can select your product category. If you want to hone in on a specific category, you can do that. Let's say, for example, we're going to focus on health. And you can also specify targeting United States, English, Google, and negative keywords. So we know that from the Google Trends research that the United States is getting the most hits for that specific keyword. So that would be some good information to use for targeting. You can also do some keyword filters and keyword options. In this case, we're going to just click on get ideas and we'll see what Google has to show us. So you can see ad group ideas, which are groups of keywords that relate to one another, or you can get individual keyword ideas by clicking this tab here. Now, as you can see here, this is the main keyword search term. We can see the average monthly searches are about a thousand. The competition, however, is quite high the suggested bid or basically the Google AdWords. So if you're using this for Google AdWords, great. It tells you exactly how much a company is willing to bid for somebody just to click once. So for every click, average is about $2.15. So that's a good amount for a click. So we see other keywords, for example, low fat, low cholesterol diet plan, 70 average monthly searches, but it's a high comp competition. So even though it is low, that tells us that possibly there is a buying market that is willing to spend more money. Now, let's say for example, that I want to do some keyword filters and filter so that I only get low and medium competition in terms of keyword phrases. So as you can see, we are able to see variations of the keywords in terms of the medium competition. And we can also see how much people are searching in Google. And this is just the bid. And anytime you see a suggested bid that tells you that if there are people that are willing to advertise in this specific market, there are people who are buying these types of products, which means that you could easily move in and sell the products that you're going to sell surrounding specific keyword terms. So that gives you a better idea that if you move into this market, you'll be able to more likely find people who want to buy your product. So that's a good sign. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.